Hey guys, it's Jen over at worldofgencraft.com and this is our third and final card in the Party Pandas mini series. As I stated before in my first two videos, in case you missed them, these are three cards that my card class will be making in the month of January. So I just wanted to share them with you guys. I thought they turned out pretty darn sweet. Let's get on with the supplies and I'll show you how I put it together. The uh, Whisper White Organza Ribbon from the Occasions Catalog, Basic Black Archival Ink, the Party Pandas Stamp Set, so cute, the Layering Squares Framelits and the Stitch Shaped Framelits. I used the Light Bermuda Bay and Light Daffodil Delight for my Stampin' Blend markers and a touch of Wink of Stella. So that's the wrong card. We're going to stick this one in here. Once again, I do have a pre-cut little kit to send to someone. If you want to go over to my blog post, worldofgencraft.com, leave a comment and I will draw a winner in the next couple of days to have this sent to. Paper. Basic black is four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half to create our card base. A three and one eighth by four and one eighth. Whisper white is four by five and a quarter. And then I have a two and five eighths inch stitched square. However, I am going to be stamping on a scrap first and then cutting him out with my frame. Lemon Lime Twist cardstock is two and seven eighths inch square. I did use my layering square from this, but you could also just use your paper trimmer and cut it out at two and seven eighths. Bubbles and Fizz DSP, three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. Let's go ahead and we're going to get started by stamping out our panda on the Whisper White. And that is just gonna get done up here in our archival basic black ink. Make sure he gets a nice coating there of ink and I'm just going to go ahead and stamp him down. That's just such a nice crisp image, isn't it? Um, grabbing out our big shot, our handy dandy big shot. Now for this little guy I did go ahead and I cut him out so he is a little off-centered in this, so we can, well, fit our sentiment. You could ideally put the happy birthday on him, because I know he has a little birthday party hat. Um, so, but the, I found that the happy birthday was um, a little bit too long for this piece here. However, you could cut your stamp in half, or you could mask off one and then stamp on the, uh, stamp it down. All right, so let's get out our little, ooh, this is stuck onto my, my, uh, whatever that's called. <laughs> oh my, okay, so hi. So that's gonna go like this. I actually did a video last time and I stamped it upside down. So yeah, there's that. I'm gonna set this little guy aside and let's go ahead and get started on putting our papers all together. So our Bubbles and Fizz is just going to go on top of our Whisper White. Can I tell you guys how much I am absolutely in love with this paper pack? Oh, just so super cute. I just, I love it all. Um, Stampin' Dimensionals. And not on this piece. So let's see if we can quickly pull those off. That is actually going to just get put straight down onto our bubbles and fizz. So we'll pull those off and we're going to put our image on the lemon lime twist. And then this is actually going to get put up with the Stampin' Dimensionals. And he's going to go centered in the top portion of our basic black. And then I'm going to wrap our paper, or our ribbon, around the back side of it. So I'm just going to go ahead and put our 
adhesive on the back, grab out our ribbon, and that is going to go and bring my little card back in here into the picture. This is just going to get wrapped centered down here at the bottom. That's sticky stuff. My fingers are all sticking to it. <laughs> all right. And then I'm going to go ahead and put just a little bit more adhesive on top of my ribbon. And that is going to get put centered here at the top of our card front. And all of that is going to get put onto our card base. Just like so. And I do not have a piece cut out for the inside of this. Of course, when I do go to send it, I'll cut out a whisper white that's going to be three and three quarters by five that will go on the inside so I can go ahead and write out um, to whoever I'm sending it to. So let's make a bow quick and then we will be almost done with this card. Wrap it around behind and then pull it through and pull it down. That looks about right. And then we're going to cut off our ends here, stick this on a little glue dot, and attach it to our card. So there's that. And I just put it centered in here. And there's a little glue dot here. I'm going to stick underneath just so it stays put on top of everything. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and color in his little hat. And using the light Daffodil Delight, I'm just going to go ahead and color in here. And I'm going to use our light Bermuda Bay to color in the little circles on his hat. And lastly, our Wink of Stella to give him a little bit of shimmer. So cute, so cute. And that's it. That is our card. Cuteness, huh? Adorable. All right, I'll bring back all three cards. This is it for our little mini series. Hope you guys enjoyed and uh, hope you enjoyed. Yeah, hope you enjoyed all three of the videos. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. As always, it is greatly appreciated. Your support is greatly appreciated and I'm just thrilled to be able to do this. And uh, if you would like, to stop over at my website, worldofgencraft.com. I will have printable, downloadable dimensions for this card on this blog post, but all three of them will have uh, printable, downloadable dimensions and supply list that you are uh, free to download and use. Thank you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I will talk at you later. Bye.